So, I've got quite a few emails from people that have made pulse jets, but they can't get them to start. So I've got two helpers today. I've got the Hacksmith from the Hacksmith channel, and we've got James Bruton from X Robots. And I'm gonna try and get them to start this lovely pulse jet here. Right, let the lesson begin. Now, the jet we're using today is this one. It's a Lockwood design. These are the best ones. They kick out the most power and they're the easiest ones to start. This one in particular was designed by Mr. Bruce Simpson. You can find the plans by just Googling Lockwood Pulse Jet plans and that's, that's how I find them. There's plenty of drawings on there. Now, there's a couple of other designs. There's like a Chinese one that's got two inlets on it. They start okay, but don't kick out much power. And there's another one which has got one inlet on, which is a complete nightmare. Forget about it. You just want to build one of these. Now, this little system on the top here, we're not going to use this today. This is uh, something which I've added so I can like run it off diesel or engine oil or anything like that. If you want to find out more about that, go and watch my jet cart building videos and that's all on there. So for today, just going to be using gas and it's a simple system. It comes out the bottle, goes through two valves. We've got one for idle, one for throttle. But for today's purposes, we're just going to be concentrating on the idle one. Down this tube into the side of the jet and then it's just blanked off and then it's got a few holes peppered all the way down it just to kind of spray the gas out in a nice even amount. Now to get these things started it's just a balance of gas and air and getting the two things up and running in the right amounts. Now to light it we've got no spark plug we just use a blow lamp you just shove the blow lamp down the end there and light it and get the flame coming out of this tube. If the flame starts to come out of this one start again blow it all out start from fresh. So light it in there your finger on the uh, idle, get your leaf blower, bring the two together and then kind of just gently bring them up until the mix is about right and then it should pop into line. So, can the two Jameses do that? Let's see if my education in pulse jet lighting is any good. So, give that a little bit of a tickle and then light it in the end there. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's running, it's running in there. Yeah. If you give it a tiny bit more, so you get a little bit of flame coming out. That's it, whoa, a bit less. <laughs> now, you're gonna need a leaf blower to start one of these things, and as a tip, stick a 90 degree bend on the end, and it saves you burning your hand when you shove it down the end of the jet. Right, that's about right, now then. Now you get this, and gently bring it towards that. Right. Now we've got a little bit of a vroom. That's basically not enough gas and we've just blown it out. So next time you do it, a little bit more gas and then hopefully it'll leave a fire into life or we'll nearly get there. And it's at this point, I'm gonna move me over camera because I've realized I've put it in a rather bad position and I think it's gonna get burned. Let's move you back here. Take two. smoke is good that is like you are so nearly there so if you've got black smoke you either need a little bit more air or a little bit more gas now if you give it a bit more gas and you start to see the smoke disappear and a little bit of fire coming out that same inlet then you need to back it off and give it a bit more oxygen if you give it a bit more oxygen and it goes out you know you needed a little bit more gas so you were very close there and you it nearly that kind of boom that's near that's the start of nearly one pulse this lesson's going to pay him dividends in the future somewhere isn't it <laughs> getting his pops and bangs chances are your leaf blower is not powerful enough or your gas bottles nearly empty you need a decent amount of gas to get these things to run especially one this size the smaller ones obviously not so much but one this big you want a nice full bottle Bruton's turn now they are it's about good amount right, you get your thing on that ready Bring the 
two together. Like I say, he makes robots and crazy stuff in his attic. And lights pulse jets first go. And lights post pulse jets first go. The Hacksmith, he's kind of like the Canadian version with me. All sorts of other stuff. Go and check their channels out. Brilliant. Hopefully that made sense of how you light a pulse jet. If it didn't, I've just done a very poor job of editing and explaining the whole process. Excellent. And then All you just right. cut right now to moonwalk out of shot. Moonwalk out of shot. Oh yeah. <laughs>